Hi everyone, Amy Love here and welcome to this mess on my desk. <laughs> I took a little time to play uh, today and I made some shaker cards out of the beautiful papers from uh, Doreen's kit, uh, Pink Parfait Cafe from Ulala Vintage Treasures. It's just gorgeous and I love it. So I will have a link uh, below this video to Doreen's Etsy store and to her Facebook group and also to her channel and all three places are just a great uh, source of inspiration uh, for me so I know they will be for you too and I use some of the pieces of the kit to make um, some shakers because uh, pretty shaker on pretty paper is just gorgeous and I also did stickle some of the paper before um, I made the shaker and all I did was uh, put a piece of tool over the top and sewed three of the sides and then filled it with this shaker mix that I created and then sewed the top close. So the only uh, tip I would like to share is when you are making a shaker mix and you're going to make um, a shaker card, make sure whatever you're covering the card with that the stuff inside is bigger than the holes in the tool because I didn't exactly do that although a lot of that is going to stay. It's a little some of the stuff is still coming out so there's a big mess here because I did not double check that <laughs> before I made the mix but that's okay it's still really pretty and I have really pretty messes everywhere so what I'd like to do is embellish uh, this with you because I want to make it even prettier than it is so I'm gonna scoot all the shaker bit, bits to the top of the card because I think I want to add a little uh, something to the bottom part of the card. And I think I'm going to use um, the piece of this uh, applique I cut off of this bridal applique, this pink bridal applique that I get from Angel Dream Crafts. And I think I'm just going to glue it down right there. And I'm going to use um, hot glue for this because I need this to dry immediately so the shaker bit won't get stuck in the glue because we don't want that we want all of our shaker bits to stay free moving <laughs> so all right I'll get that pushed down I like that and now I'm going to scoot it all over to this side so that I can put an edging trim and I'm thinking I want to use uh, this one that I just got in my last DT package from Angel Dream Crafts. Yeah, I have really been enjoying this trim and I think it'll look really nice right there. Yeah, quite cute. So cute. I'm a little obs obsessed with uh, shakers because they're just sparkly and pretty and all the things that I like. So I'm going to just put that down right there. Right, cute. All right, so now we should be, get the shaker stuff away from the top so that I can decorate the top too. See how cute. It's so cute. All right. So I want to start with, I think I'm going to add some of this, you know, I'm obsessed with this tool, put it on everything and don't worry, I'm not going to leave it that long. I'm going to trim it. But I'm going to go ahead and glue it down first, right at the top. That's where I want it to go. All right, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and take that all the way across. Okay, so cute. All right, now let me cut off this side. Oh, I need to sharpen my scissors that way I don't have to saw through. Because <laughs> that's never right. And let's see, I want to put, I took this um, piece from the kit and I'm just folding it in half to kind of make a topper on my shaker and I'm using that to decide how much of this tool I want to cut off 
Hopefully my scissors will cut through it nicely. Oh, come on, you can do it, you can do it. Okay. Now I've been doing that a lot and I've been taking these um, bits and I have been making these adorable little shabby chic charms. They're just so cute. And so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna add one to the shaker because I think they're adorable. Love those. Okay, so I love how that turned out. Now I think I'm just gonna clip that down on top of that. Yeah, that's, that's what I wanna do. Let me start here. Hopefully I'm not being too quiet, but I'm trying to keep my voice down because I think my husband is trying to read. <laughs> so, you know, I'm just trying to be polite. So hopefully you can hear me well enough. I'm going to go down this side too. All right, and then I, of course, did that crooked, which makes sense. I do everything crooked. So I'm gonna turn that off. There we go. All right, now I think I'm gonna put some sorry silk. I think I wanna use this creamy color. Um, and I get my sorry silk from Angel Dream Crafts too. And I think I'm gonna just Kind of pleat it up across the top of this. I think that would look so pretty. So let's do that. Let me glue this down a little more on this side. All right. Start here. Here we go. Pleat it up as we go here. It's so cute. And I'm just going to try to follow the line of that paper. If I have any hope of it being somewhat straight. <laughs> but I'm not too concerned about it. Which is a good thing because straight is not uh, my strong suit for sure. Come on, you can do it. I'm hoping we're finally getting a proper uh, snowstorm here in Maine. It's been the weirdest winter so far. It's been very wet, but it hasn't been very snowy. And I could do without the rain. We all could. We all could here anyway. More snow, less rain. So cute! I'm really enjoying working with um, Doreen's kit. This kit is just so beautiful. Um, but then she has a lot of beautiful kits over there in her Etsy store for sure. Very inspiring. I just love how this looks all pleated up. Very nice. Very nice. All right, and then let's get that right there. Yes, cute, cute. All right, turn that off. yourself oh cute right that's cute okay what else do I want to do here 
Let me move some of this out of the way. So I have so many piles. <laughs> so many piles going on now. It's kind of crazy. Do I want... I have this little trim that I got from Angel Dream Crafts. And I'm just wondering if I want to go across that. Yeah, I think maybe I do. So I'm going to cut off a piece. But I'm going to cut this straight edge off. Because I don't want that. Just want the little round bits. There we go. And I think I'm just going to put that right there. Yes. Oh, it's cute. I'm going to do that. Okay. Let's get it right in here. love this this little trim is so cute look at those little tiny pearls on there it's just so cute all right i saved this for last because it's a little lumpy on the side yes all right i think i'm gonna put a paper clip up here for the pull tab and i of course don't have those out of my desk right now but I do want to make kind of a dangle on the side so I took um, one of these from the kit which are so stinking cute and I cut off the little top it had on there do I have another one where I can show you yeah aren't these cute so I took one of these and I just cut this uh, top piece off and I uh, glossy accented around it and then I stickled the image and then I just put like a little rose gold um, what are these called eyelets I think so right there so I can make it like a little bit of a charm um, but what I'd like to do is maybe add some of this pink bridal trim uh, one of these little flowers I think I want to use. So let me get one. Here we go. Snippity snip. Okay. Because I just think how cute that would be right there. Yes, it's adorable. All right, let me put that on there. love it all right so i'm gonna use uh to make my little dangle i'm gonna use one of these white bulb pins that i get from angel dream crafts and i'm definitely gonna put on one of these uh, little heart charms which are so cute please excuse my fingers they're stained i was making elderberry syrup this morning and you have to you know after you've got it all together you squeeze it out and it dyes your hands, you know, purple for a while, but that's okay. <laughs> it was worth it. So I'm going to put this beautiful charm and then I'm going to add one of these shabby little charms I've been making because they're just, they're so cute. Um, is this the one I want? I have a couple more. I also made some out of sari, uh, out of the sari silk. They are cute too. Just look at that. It's adorable, but I think this one so I'll put that on there cute and then this oh you guys that is everything absolutely adorable and then I'm just gonna hang it off the side I'm pretty sure that's what we're doing Let me get it in there There you go. Let's see if I can get this closed. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, you guys. It's so stinking cute. Look at that. Oh, I love it. Doreen, this kit is so cute. You guys, it is Pink uh, Parfait Cafe. And now I have this adorable shaker card. 
because <laughs> um, I'm trying to put together a little um, folio, which I should have ready to film next week, I hope. And it's going to have some uh, adorable little embellishments that I am making out of her, um, out of this kit. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed my little um, shaker embellishment. And I hope you're all doing well. Don't forget to go over and um, check out this kit um, in Doreen's Etsy store. It's amazing. I hope you're all doing well and I'll see you on the next one. Bye everybody.